So this guy here says there's no evidence the Injiyat ever existed. Uh, the Injiyat is the message that was given to Christ. Problem is, we have nothing that goes back to Christ. Did that ever occur to you? If the Injil was the message given to Christ, but there is nothing that goes back to Christ, where is the proof of the so-called Injil? Hmm, this doesn't look good, Ramsey. I think you just proved this point. And the Quran is the one that makes the claim for the existence of such a book, so the burden of proof is on you, bud. Now, if you want to claim that the four anonymously authored contradicting Gospels in the New Testament go back to Christ, then I'd like to see some evidence, please. Hmm, something is off here, and it's not that weak beard of yours. Oh, that's right, you're deflecting by running away from the question. We know every Muslim apologist's favorite dance is the running man. Ramzi, your knowledge of Christianity is just embarrassing. There are no contradictions. They are called synoptic gospels for a reason. Deriving from the two Greek words syn, meaning together, and opsis, meaning view or sight. They're written by different authors who have their own perspectives, backgrounds, and purposes for writing. You have to look at them horizontally as pieces of a larger puzzle. The gospel writer writers did not intend to provide exhaustive, comprehensive biographies of Jesus. They selected particular stories, teachings, and events that aligned with their theological objectives and the needs of their respective audiences. And there is a significant amount of historical proof connecting the Gospels to Jesus, unlike the existence of this phantom in Jill. The writings of early church fathers such as Ignatius of Antioch, Polycarp, Clement of Rome, and Justin Martyr contain references to the Gospels and the life of Jesus. These early Christian leaders who lived shortly after the time of the Apostles referred to the Gospels in their own works. We have early manuscript fragments of the Gospels dating back to the 2nd century, indicating that these texts were being copied and circulated early in Christian history. Non-Christian ancient sources, such as the Jewish historian Josephus and Roman historian Tacitus, make references to Jesus and early Christianity, corroborating the events of the Gospel narratives. And the fact that the Gospels were independently written by different authors provides multiple attestations, which adds to the credibility of the accounts. But I'm still waiting for a lick of historical evidence for the existence of this imaginary Injil. Actually, you know what? It does exist. It's the New Testament, but because it doesn't align with the Quran, you have no choice but to claim it was never the Word of God, which is strange because the vast majority of Muslim scholars just say it has been corrupted. But you have to hold to these views, otherwise you'd have to admit the truth that the Quran is not from God.